Okay, so how interesting is this? This is Group B today. Belgium play Finland and Russia play Denmark. Okay, so I thought there would be lots of rested players for Belgium, but that's not the case. Hazard is starting and I think Lukaku is starting as well. Lukaku has said he wants to play every game and uh, Martinez has said that every player, he wants his full side out every game to keep the momentum going. So that to me says he won't be resting players. Now we'll see what the case is and how well they do against Finland, but Belgium have already qualified. It gets really interesting though, because look at the groups. Okay, so Belgium are through, but if Belgium beat Finland, and Denmark beat Russia, which should happen. For example, if uh, Belgium beat Finland 1-0 and Denmark beat Russia 1-0, then it gets quite complicated because it goes off head-to-head -head, uh, performances. So who is second and who is third? It'll be 6, 3, 3 and 3. Right, head-to-head. -head, Finland beat Denmark, so you'd put Denmark above Finland. And then head to head, Russia beat Finland, so you put Russia above Finland. But Denmark beat Russia, so you'd put Denmark above Russia. Okay, so that's impossible, obviously. So then it will go on goal difference. So if Denmark beat Russia 1 0 and Finland lose 1 0, they're both on minus one. <laughs> So then what does it go on? Does it go on goals scored? I think so, but what an interesting group because that's likely to happen. So anyway, if you've got any Belgian players in your team, you can put them in. And then we have the other interesting games of the day. UK Ukraine versus Austria. Uh, ne Netherlands versus North Macedonia. I'm quite interested to see how they line up and whether they rest players. Because I know quite a few in my team have got Dipe and Dumfries, which I avoided this week. But if we look at their group, here we go. So the Netherlands are through, but Ukraine, Austria, look at that. It's literally neck and neck. So whoever wins this game, it goes up the form and qualifies straight away. And if they draw, they probably both qualify if they draw, to be fair. Uh, so... That should be a great game. Hopefully it's not too tight uh, and it's fun. So obviously yesterday we had Wales 1-0. What a shame. I had Bale uh, and he had Roberts as well, uh, which I regret now. I, I wish I stuck with Yarmolenko uh, from today. I don't even know if we've got any players playing today. I don't think I have. Let's have a look at my team. Now obviously I had Shakiri as captain, which... It's fantastic. Uh, Roberts and Bale are likely to come out. Oh yeah, uh, I've got a Yama truck up front today. Now he's like, he's a uh, Bale and Roberts are likely to come out. Obviously, I'm going to be putting the three on the bench in at some point, but I'm just going to see what happens uh, with Yama truck and with the Scotland players first. Uh, oh, we've got Mail playing as well. Uh, see what see what happens with all of them before I put them in in case any of them get a really low point But obviously in fantasy football what I've noticed is it's not about Having all your players scoring loads of points. It's about getting the players two or three in your team that score really well So Shakiri has absolutely pulled it out of the bag for me Which is amazing and obviously I've got my best players to play I mean hopefully Germany absolutely stuff Hungary and that would see me flying up I've got three of them in. I've got uh, three Spanish. So over half my team relies on two games. So tell me what you think. There's some interesting matches on today. Wish you had Yarmolenko, like I say, instead of Roberts. I had Yarmolenko uh, and I had Zinchenko in my team at one point, but I thought three Ukrainians is pushing it. But now I wholeheartedly regret that decision. What are you guys doing? And what do you reckon is going to happen today? Don't forget, je suis un bon.